Today, we'll be showing you how to connect a keyboard and mouse to your PS4. Hey guys, it's Joel here with Make Tech Easier. This isn't common knowledge, but Sony's PlayStation 4 can be used with a keyboard and mouse. There is no extra third-party hardware needed, nor is there any shifty OS manipulation involved. The PS4 supports a keyboard and mouse straight out of the box. The best part is, setting one up is super simple. If you've ever tried the laborious method of inputting text on a DualShock 4 controller, there's a good chance you can already think of why a keyboard would be beneficial. A keyboard enables the user to type messages to friends faster and easier. While the PS4 is first and foremost a gaming console, it excels as a multimedia machine. The use of a keyboard and mouse makes things like navigating the system's menus and browsing the web much easier. Furthermore, there are even some games that support the use of a keyboard and mouse. MMOs like Final Fantasy often have tons of things happening on screen at any given time. Trying to manage the chaos with a standard controller can test a gamer's patience and resolve. Swapping the DualShock 4 for a keyboard and mouse can make things much more enjoyable. The PlayStation 4 supports three types of keyboards and mice, wired USB, wireless and Bluetooth. Regardless of which you choose, connecting them to a PS4 is straightforward and painless. Furthermore, the PS4 utilizes the standard Bluetooth protocol. Virtually any keyboard and mouse will work with the PS4. You don't have to spend a small fortune on peripherals that market themselves as made for the PS4. If you're using a wired keyboard or a wireless keyboard with a USB dongle, plug the keyboard into one of two USB ports on the front of the PS4 console. These are the same USB ports that are used to charge the DualShock 4 controllers. After plugging the USB cable or wireless USB dongle, wait a moment and the PS4 should recognize your keyboard and mouse automatically. The PS4 will then ask which profile you would like to associate the keyboard and mouse with. Once you've made your selection, you'll be able to use the keyboard and mouse with your PS4. If you're using a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse, navigate to the PS4 settings menu. From there, head to Devices, Bluetooth Devices. The PS4 will then automatically search for nearby Bluetooth peripherals. At this point, make your Bluetooth keyboard and mouse discoverable by putting them into pairing mode. If you don't know how to do this, consult the instruction manual of your Bluetooth device. The PS4 should then see your Bluetooth keyboard and mouse and ask which profile is going to be using the devices. Once you choose a profile, you'll be able to use the Bluetooth keyboard with PS4 console. If you want to adjust the pointer speed of your mouse or change the language of your keyboard, you can do so in the PS4 settings. Head to Settings, Devices, External Keyboard and or Mouse. Here you'll be able to tweak the behavior of your connected devices. Unfortunately, the list of PlayStation 4 games that officially support a keyboard and mouse is very short. That being said, using a keyboard and mouse with these titles can significantly improve your game. And note these titles only support the use of a keyboard. While the list of games that officially support the use of a mouse and keyboard is limited, there are ways to use a keyboard and mouse with your favorite game. Third party products such as Zim 4 Adapter and the Zim Apex Adapter will allow you to use a mouse and keyboard for virtually any game. However, before you buy a word of caution, the use of a keyboard and mouse on games that don't support them can result in your account being banned. This is because of the use of a mouse and keyboard can be an unfair advantage over players using a controller. You've been warned. Do you use a keyboard and mouse with your PlayStation 4? If so, what are your favorite games to play with it? Do you use a third party adapter like those manufactured by Zim? Let us know below in the comments. Well, that's it from me. As always, if you love tech as much as we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn the bell on, and you'll be notified by our latest and greatest tech-savvy videos. See you next time.